this to Human Centipede, part one. And a quick info dump right here. The reason this film even exists is because the writer once said that he would love to sew a child touch's mouth to a trucker's butt. And then for some reason took that concept and made a movie out of it. Huh. Film begin, and here is a car where a very sad man is looking at something that's making his ass rain. But what is he actually crying over? A dog sniffing another dog's ass, obviously. And look, now there's three dogs and they're all standing in an ass sniffing train. And huh, that is actually a bit weird. Let's head to a hotel where some Americans are getting ready for a night out in Germany. And it's like, uh, isn't that just history repeating itself all over again? So they get rolling in the car and they're absolutely loving it. But it's a bit of an issue though, because there's a woman navigating and predictably they're now bloody lost. It's like, oh, whoa, 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 let's review crap writing. That's a sexism right there. Yep, it is. And now no, now the car has a flatty. So it's a bit of a disaster all around. And they're really upset because they have absolutely no idea how to change a car's tire. So they get trying to call the rental company because of a flat tire again. And oh no, they have no signal. What's going on now? It's another car and here's a granddad who can only speak foreign which is illegal, so they have no idea what he just said, but they do have a translation book. And it actually turns out, he wants to do the sex with them. And oh my god, that was creepy as duck, and they're like, hell nah. So he drives off, and they both agree, look, we ain't hanging around here anymore. And then they get walking through some woods, hoping to find some help. And oh, uh, they've just seen something. It's a house, and also it's raining. They rock up to the front door where a creepy crying man from earlier is pretty surprised but is totally cool about it and invites them in. Then asks, I are you two relatives? And it turns out they're actually not, they're just friends. So then he says, look, I'm going to go make that phone call to that car place because obviously I speak foreign. But like, would you guys like a drink? And they're completely cool with that as well. So he goes off and makes them a powdered diet water. He's back and generic female is like, this, this place is quite nice. Do you live here with your wife? And he says, no, I don't like people. But oh no, generic female just spilt her powdered water all over the place. And that just pissed off creepy crying man. But he's like, he put all that effort into making that drink. And she goes and spills it. So he goes, look, it's fine. I'm going to go get you another one. But does he actually go back to the kitchen? Like hell he does. He goes down to his underground hospital where he gets the Pfizer booster jab ready. And then comes back where the other generic female is totally having a blinder on that powdered water. Another lady, she's almost passed out, but not passed out enough. So Creepy Man gives her a booster, and now she's down for a blood clot nap time. Next day, where generic female wakes up in his hospital. And that's really strange. And look, there's another bloke there. So, do they try very sneakily to escape using the illusion of still being asleep? Like hell they do, because they start screaming big time, which makes Creepy Man come downstairs. And it turns out that other bloke doesn't match like the other guys. So he gives him myocarditis shots, and then he straight up dies. But what did he mean by not a match? And hmm, that's a very interesting question. I guess we'll never find out. Until two minutes later in the film. Let's head to some time later, where Creepy Man has just come back home in his Mercedes. But oh my god, he's kidnapped someone else. And wait a minute, it's a freaking Asian. So he rounds up the guys and gives them a presentation. And it turns out that Creepy Man, he used to be a really cool surgeon who specialised in Siamese twins. But he got really sick of separating people. So now he wants to join them together. And they actually are all blood matches. Which kind of like connects the dots from earlier, where he killed that guy, remember? So anyway, how is he going to join them? Would it be with the legs? Maybe the hands. Maybe even a- He's gonna like literally sew their mouths to each other's asses. Oh my god. He's now getting ready to do the surgery. An Asian man, he's up first. It goes for nap time. But generic female, she really doesn't want to be taking chuds down the throat. So somehow manages to untie herself and then escapes. But oh no, there's no way out of this place. So quick, hide in this room and shut that door. A creepy man, he ain't done though, and knows exactly where she is, telling her, if you don't come out here right now, you're not getting any Christmas pudding. Oh, and also, I'm not going to give you any general anesthetic when I, like, totally sew your mouth to a butthole. 
So that'll probably hurt like really badly. Female person isn't gonna let some creep make her a human toilet seat and then tries to escape out the window. Oh, wait, sorry, he's now outside somehow with a gun and then starts smashing the glass to get to her. So run, female person, run quicklier, which she does and immediately falls into a swimming pool. And well, 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 here he is again. So like that was entirely pointless. And he says, you done goofed up with this one, you damn dingus, because I'm going to make you the middle piece of the human centipede, which is obviously the worst place to be. And she ain't budging from that pool, though. So Creepy Man, he's like, get out. And she's like, no. So we're like, fine, I'm going to close the pool cover. And he's thinking, uh, she'll just come out because obviously, like, why drown to death when you can literally be the middle piece of a human centipede? But surprisingly, she doesn't want to get out of that place. So she tries to top herself with the water. But wait a minute. Now the power just went out for some reason, which is really well-timed and convenient. It's like, ah, like what are the chances of that happening? So, what does Creepy Man do? Does he just stand there and make sure she doesn't escape? Or does he walk off to flip some breaker switches? Are you stupid? Of course he walks off giving her the chance to possibly escape or injure him. Well, how about that? She's now out and is creeping around very loudly instead of, you know, being quiet. And hey, she's now at the window that the creepy man broke through. And instead of like just running for your dear life and then alerting the authorities and then coming back, she goes, I want to go downstairs without a weapon to save my friend who's currently under general anesthetic. Oh, and then kicks a bedpan that like was really, really loud. It's like, oh my God, this is so stupid. I mean, come on, man. And now she's dragging her friend to the window and they're outside. And holy shit, balls! she just got shot with the booster and is now down for nap time. And it's like, so, like, just so we're clear on this, she could have ran, got an entire SWAT team, came back, killed that guy, saved her friend, and also a little Asian fella, and then be back to sniff the air of sweet American freedom within, like, days. Oh, she deserves everything coming to her. It's surgery time, where I'd love to show you each part of this bit, but YouTube already hates my content, especially in my last video, because of climate change. So here's some puppies instead. Scene transmission, and that window, it got fixed, and now he's drinking. And then she, he just heard something. And what the absolute hell is that? It's an Asian. Wait, no it's not. It's a human centipede. And Creepy Man, he says, wake up my human centipedes. Oh, it's time to begin centipeding. And he's absolutely loving it, saying, I did it. I sewed some white chick's mouth to an Asian's ass. Even though, like, he literally could have just gone down B&Q, picked up some PVC pipes and Gorilla Glue, shoved one end down the chick's mouth, and then the other one up the Asian's ass. It's like, it's just, literally just the same thing. How are those guys taking it, though? Well, actually, not too well. They're crying and being a big sad. So he takes them outside and shoves a newspaper in the Asian centipede's mouth, saying, bring me my newspaper, because he's trying to train them as a dog. An Asian man, he's like, what? I know speaky Ringlish, but uh-oh, now Asian man, he really, really needs to take a shit. So he starts praying because, well, let's face it, we've all had those ones where you hope to God the passage is smooth. But how is the middle centipede taking it? Or well, not too well, actually. It's later when a centipede is getting a checkup. An Asian man, he's doing absolutely fine. And then middle sandwich lady, she's all right too. A little bit constipated, but oh my dear God, end lady, she's looking pretty damn sick right now. And she's gonna die because of infection. Well, that was absolutely great. But stop right there crying, creepy man. Someone's at the front door. So it goes up where there's some coppers. And they're asking, like, can we ask you some questions? And he's like, yeah, sure, come on in. So Creepy Man says, so what do you actually want then? And they say, we're looking for some missing guys. Have you seen two women and an Asian? But he's like, what? An Asian? This is Europe, you dingus. Asians live in Asia. Now, if you ask me if I've seen any Asian centipedes, then maybe I can help you out with that one. But obviously, you're asking the wrong questions. And they're like, what? And he's like, what? Anyway, do you guys want a powdered water? And they're completely cool with that, so say yes. And here it is. So while they're up there, what's going on down below? It's the human centipede, and the Asian man is screaming his head off, but no one can hear him. Back to the policemen who are asking, Bro, what's up with this cage? But he says, look, just get to the point while you're here. 
So they tell him, we got told that someone heard a bunch of Americans screaming at your house. And we're actually hunting for Americans. So explain that. And instead of being really calm and just saying, look, I don't know what you're talking about, governor. He just gets mad and smashes a glass and then tells them to drink their powdered water, which is totally not suspicious at all. He then calms down saying, look, I'm sorry. I've been really overworked doing like TikTok dances and all that. You know what? I'm going to go get a towel. But does he actually get a towel? No, he doesn't. He's going to go get his needles because what better way to hide your tracks than literally kidnapping an on-duty copper? Oh, and then tells the human centipede, I'm going to add those guys to you lot to like have an even bigglier centipede. And then ducks off leaving them alone. An Asian man, he's just seen something. It's a scalpel, which obviously will come in useful later. Back to the policemen who are asking, what's in your cellar, mate? And Creepy Man is like, oh, hell no, nah. you ain't checking down there with all my hidden stuff. You haven't even got the latest booster or like, you know, the COVID pass. Anyway, I'm trying to clean this floor. Oh, wait, sorry, I'll just drop my needle in full view of all of you lot. So Creepy Man, he's not dumb and us, Vos is thus. And it actually turns out that Creepy Man, he says he's got diabetes. But they're like, ah, oh, pressing X to doubt on that one. We'll be back in 20 minutes with a search warrant. You're out of creep. That screwed up everything. So he runs downstairs to the human centipede. But oh my god, they've totally disappeared. So where could they possibly be? Maybe in a small bush? Maybe underneath a fallen tree? What about a patch of soggy soil? No, you silly goose. They're hiding and like round the corner. And when like Creepy Man comes along, Asian Man stabs him in the foot and then tries to eat him out. So maybe he's dead. But probably not, because that will mean film finish already, and that will be an anticlimax. So they get to human centipede in, but there's a huge ducking issue. How are they going to get up those stairs? By working together, obviously. Oh, and also, Creepy Man, he ain't dead. Ah, oh, who would have guessed that one? You know, you would have thought that, like, you know, you've managed to do the guy who literally turned you into a centipede. You would kind of finish the job right there and then. Oh my god. So it's chase time where both are crawling and it's literally like watching paint dry. So they get to the room from earlier where a female person tried to escape. An Asian man, he's big mad and then picks up a lamp and tries to break the window to escape. But creepy man, he's just arrived at the doorway. So he picks up a bit of glass from the floor and now it's the special Olympic knife fight. But wait a minute, Asian man starts laughing saying, you. You're God, aren't you? Because I was a total utter dildo before all this happened. You know, I left my children. I abandoned my parents. Maybe I did it a few drugs. Oh, and even played around with a couple of viruses that escaped the Wuhan lab. So this is totally my punishment. Anyway, I'm just going to like self-delete myself right here with this shard of glass. Well, that just screwed everything up. And also, I thought after you died, you pooped yourself. So middle lady probably just got a late breakfast. Quick flip to the door where those policemen are back with their warrant and they're knocking and banging and all that. And now they're in the house with guns. But one of them is having a real bad time right now coughing and all that. And oh my god, that idiot obviously drank the powdered water, didn't he? Anyway, let's head downstairs where the cop man has found blood on the floor and there was a gunshot up above. So he goes running upstairs where he kicks open the door and oh my god, there's a human centipede. So instead of like, Helping, he starts dry heaving and then runs away and then straight into the pool room where Creepy Man shoots him and then he shoots the back right in the nugget and now they're all dead. What's the half human centipede doing? Well, they're just chilling. Not much is going. Oh, wait, sorry. The one on the end is just dead, but not the middle one. Uh, and, and now that's it. Film finished. So we don't know what happened to the middle. You know what? I don't care. They should all die. The Subscribe button. It's always right.